Hello and welcome to NRLW Roundup, where you'll see all the action from round nine of the NRLW Telstra Women's Premiership. I'm your host, Renee Gardner, and I'm going to be taking you through this weekend's games. And we start the round on Thursday night this week at Leichhardt Oval. It's the West Tigers taking on the top of the table leaders in the Knights. And here we go, Thursday night footy from Leichhardt Oval. Rassenbale, a late in tonight for Bo Fetty Welsh. Gets us underway. Straight onto the chest of Jesse Southwell. And look at Caitlin Johnston bring it back. Upton now gets involved and the big gap opens up for Tamika. The footwork around Pilia and Rassenbale. What a chase it is. Oh, Rekia Horn gets there. Over the line though, she might have scored anyway. They'll send it upstairs as a no try initially. And just pin these knights down. Quick hands here. Oh, what about that? A little touch pass onto Rakia Horn. And Clydesdale just takes her down. Curtin from dummy half has a go. And rolls over and is held up. And it'll be a handover. I'll keep going that way now. And Southwell worked it out for Gallagher in the corner. And the Knights do score the first points of the evening at Leica. Down on the ground after that pass, to just Southwell. Picked up the lower leg injury or a core. Beautiful pass. Just showing a class. Another team up. Feeds it. It's fire to Curtin. For Horn to try and skip on the outside. Rakia Horn with those afterburners. And the Tigers hit back. Well, Rakia Horn, she saved the try in the first couple of minutes down the north end. And then down here, Rakia Horn, on the Harvey Norman replay, you will see the pace that she has. I really like this setup off the scrum. They set up nice and wide, and it's early ball. The woman you've been speaking about, Joey, she just gives nice, early, clean ball out to Rakia Horn and says, do your best. Oh, oh bust them. Look out now into open space. Confronts Upton, runs around her as well. Support comes from Gallagher. What a run to Kaya Whitfield. Still going. Incredible athlete, one of the standouts all season. And she's out of position, the winger, so they have to go this way for Horn. And the winger is over, and the Tigers lead. What a turnaround here at Leica. Looking sharp, the Tigers. Down to you, Alana. Upton. Oh, so creative for Parker. As the winger outsider, Shanice Parker, clean pair of heels. Or rather, Abigail Roach for the try for Newcastle, and they reclaim the lead. She's just making eye contact, making sure that Rakia Horn bites in on her, and that then creates that opportunity. But just she does not take her eyes off the defenders that she wants to make sure are well and truly committed. Very clever player, playing both sides of the ruck, but her pace and that eye contact Classy stuff from Upton, yet again. Finished her off over the top, but Maynard off the back of it, spots a hole. Oh, what a run, Nina Maynard. She'll play it just 10 metres out for Upton. Back to the left they go. Oh, stutter move. What about that? Newcastle working it out for Abigail Roach to claim a double. And then the footwork of Yasmin Clydesdale on this left edge, stutter step, in, out, away, draws the fullback, and then it's lovely hands onto that edge. Oh, that was class. What did you think of that one, Alana? Oh, too good. <laughs> the standing start. Oh, what a read. And she's got the speed. Here she goes oh, again. Whitfield. Whitfield trying to reel her in. He's making up the ground. And gets the out of the road. Surely the fastest player in the comp, Jakaya Whitfield. <laughs> and now Upton. Double pump and it opens up for Clydesdale this time. Deserves a try. Yasmin Clydesdale, she is such, such a strong ball player and, you know, has an outside back history and you can just see she brings that into the second row, Joey. From oh, dummy yeah. half, try for the Knights and a minor premiership secured by Newcastle for the first time in club history. I'm really impressed with the dummy half work tonight. It's the trickery around the dummy half. 
What a night for Newcastle. Minor premiers in the NRLW for the first time. First time ever. Congratulations, the NRLW. On Saturday, we go to Netstrata Jubilee Stadium for a double header. It's the second place Roosters taking on the ninth place Cowboys. Menzelman, the Dib, plays in motion. Dib with a dummy, a step and a try. Well done, Kira Dib over the line for the first points of the night. We see here on the Harvey Norman replay, just the footy in two hands. She noticed that the back rower and Fotu Moala just held up and a nice little left foot step, but it's footy in two hands. She sold that pass. And just a little bit of a mismatch against a couple of forwards. She's, she's gone back down and taken a knee in back play too. It's all Isabel Kelly. Kelly gets a pass away to Aiken. Aiken oh, inside, yeah. beautiful hands. Backstar going for the line. Here come the chasers. But Corbin's too quick for them. And the Roosters hit back through Corbin Baxter, their inspirational number one. When Tallulah Tillett tried to fix Peters again, she came up with another great tackle. But this interchange of passing on the left edge, the Harvey Norman replay, Shows it beautifully. And then Corbin Baxter doing what she does so well. Continual push support. She constantly works for the Roosters. Good set. There's two tackles left in it. Now, Aiken gets a pass away in there. Oh, that's a really strong run. Pull out of Kelly. Isabel Kelly. The Roosters go back to back. Improves the position. And Kelly scores for the Roosters. Well, she actually forced... Grace Hamilton to come on the outside of her just before this so that she could call her under. That creates that little bit of space for a pull A. It was a great run and just as good was the support play from Isabel Kelly. She's got the pace and power to get around her. Oh, big hit. How's that for your first touch of the football? Now Tillett puts the grabber kick in and the try will come. We're seeing the big hit by Pani Hopoate, but she bounced straight back up, Muka, and that's what hap that's what helps here because it's a very quick play the ball. Then they play out to the right. Emma Manselman again on the Harvey Norman replay. Good service, but this is a smart kick, and Bree Chester does well to stay live. This could be the last play of the half. Frezard to Kelleher. Aiken with a chip over the top. It's been lost, and Taryn Aiken is there to score a try right on half time. A try that only Taryn Aiken could score. Oh, she's quite far over on the right hand side, Taryn Aiken. This was probably their last crack and a kick. As we know, it's only as good as its chase and she put it on the boot. She knew she was the only one there and didn't she just nail that. Jeez, that was nice. Oh, what a ball, Kelly. Oh. Inside, Aiken. She's got a double. Taryn Aiken under the post, and the Roosters extend their lead. The outside back's getting heavily involved, but Taryn Aiken holds it up. She targets, targets Tallulah Tillett, and that line that Isabel Kelly ran was perfect. Ooh. Ooh, Bit of trouble yeah. here. Hopawati. This looks like it's a hip drop. Oh, that's on Peters, is it? Ten and a bin for Hopawati. So it's 13 on 12. Aiken. Plenty of plays in motion. Frezard! Jamie Frezard is in for the Roosters. But she skips out and sucks in Kira Dib. That's what opens up that space. She should actually be if they were marked up on the back rower, but Taryn Aiken skipping out and committing Kira Dib. That allowed that space for Jamie Frezard. Aiken, short ball, pull air. There she is. Tessa pull air with a try. We're just seeing there's an injury there to pull air, who has been very, very strong on this left edge. And she just barged her way over. Lily, come 10. Aiken. <laughs> Lovely ball, Kelly. Oh, she pops a pass. Kelleher gets there. <laughs> Jocelyn Kelleher with the try. She adds her name to the sheet. And boy, she's having a night out. Six from six, and now a try. 
Fafua. Oh, no, that's played out. And that's yeah, played that's on. Try. They'll end their season with a try. Fafua scores. Try awarded for the Cowboys. Full time, the Roosters 40 have defeated the Cowboys 16. Homeside, the Dragons will then aim to keep their attack on the top four going when they host the Broncos in the second of the double header. A win for the Broncos will secure them a semi-final spot. And that's not the start that the Dragons would have wanted. A penalty on the halfway line as the kickoff goes out on the full. Brill, Brigginshaw, Sasolka, great tackle. Brill to Brigginshaw, lovely ball, Gray, they've got numbers, Robinson and Julia Robinson is in for the Broncos, they've turned that pressure into points. Look at this pass on the Harvey Norman replay. Three long passes in a row, all hitting their mark, all ensuring that the line is pushing up and they're getting it on the front foot so they're not having to slow down. That is really nice footy. 15 away from the line, target. McGregor, Nathan Wong, Williamson! Great ball from Tyler, Nathan Wong, and Ali Williamson with the try. Broncos dominating the Westpac Red Zone standard. Brill goes on her own and scores. Too easy for Destiny Brill and Brisbane reclaim the lead. Not late. There's a kick from Brigginshaw. And the follow-up, the, the second, second kick, kick off the upright, and she's got there. The second kick from Ali Brigginshaw hits the post. Belinda Sharp says try. Three and a half minutes left before half-time. Brought to Maddock, who fung up. Bang, crash, over. Well, you just felt like it was only going to be a matter of time before she gets over the try line. Goulds. They go to the right, Brigginshaw, short ball, tight soul for the line, they're going to, oh, does she land on the line? Oh, no. it's up. The ball is up at this stage. Go last. Broughton, throwing dummies, getting a pass away through the hands, and Julia Robinson with one of the easiest tries to score in her career, her second for the night. Race for the finals, coming down to the last game of the season. Broughton, Hufanga! Malay Hufanga! She gets her seconds! Unstoppable! Unbelievable, that kind of pace. Being down here at ground level and just seeing how she picks that up. Tasman Gray did a great job to come back on the inside, just holding up those defenders, just forcing them to ask extra questions and then bumps off Tegan Berry, who's a really good one-on-one -on -one defender usually, but what an absolute powerhouse for the Broncos. There we are, 10 apiece for Tegan Berry and Malay Hufunga. Here's an early kick, Tegan Berry coming out after it, gets the bounce, shut the gate, bye bye. Tegan Berry, her 11th try of the season. Here it is, zero tackle, I know nothing. Harvey Norman replay. <laughs> You got a kick for the right one. See, Tegan's been taking the kicks herself. She got someone else to kick it this time. She's quick, isn't she? Wonderful sight. Well, you were wanting to see her in open space and really open up. Yeah. And it's just so effortless. Her style is effortless. And she takes the lead in the try scoring now. Now, Matic to Sasolka. And Sinead Sasolka extends Brisbane's lead. Well, this is really nice work on the right edge. We're so used to seeing Ali being so dominant on that side, popping up and just demanding the football. Jasmine Fongavini playing the ball for Brisbane. Now Broughton Sasolka. Sinead Sasolka will go in again. She goes back to back. And their campaign with a try, oh, oh, oh. pass and intercepts. And Julia Robinson is away. Here come the chasers. Robinson heading towards the corner and she's going to score. Ah, she was toying with them the whole way. That's nice. There you go. There you go. 
Ali Brigginshaw, and she liked that one too. There's the big smile. Uh, goal kickers love kicking goals. Doesn't matter what the score is. <laughs> the Broncos are off to the NRLW finals. Full time at Cogra. And the Broncos, 46, have defeated the Dragons, 12. Sunday opens up with our second doubleheader. This time we're in the nation's capital. And first up, it's the Eels taking on the Sharks. Plays it on the last. And the kick to come from Preston towards the wing of Rabix. And comes down with it here. Uh, what about the flick pass for Biddle? And out the back again for Preston now. It remains the last. Can they score here? Yes, they can. What a phenomenal opening set from the Sharks. That's outstanding from the Sharks. And that set to kick the game off was brilliant. They were running onto the ball. Their post-contact metres, just getting on the front foot. Nice, quick play the balls. But everyone's so eager to take that next hit up. And as we see here on the Harvey Norman replay, Taylor Preston got... We'll work on that wrestle a little bit more. Oh, Dimmick oh. storms over and has her first try in the NRLW in her 14th game. Plays it just a couple of metres out. Johnston, try number five of the season. So hard to stop that close to the line. Great. Room to exploit for Taylor and now Staples on the outside of Hunt. What about the turn of speed? Oh, Cassie Staples tries in back to back games for Cronulla. Crossfield from Preston. Oh, oh Rabbits! Wow. What a half from Cronulla. And the highlight from Georgia Rabbits, a regular try scorer since breaking into NRLW. Keep going that way. For Biddle, tough to stop here. It is all one-way traffic in Canberra. Look at the space here for Dodd. Thought the dummy might be on for the dummy half there to go under the post potentially. It's still on here for Anderson. Inventing a kick for Saunders. How smart a footy player is Brooke Anderson? She's a brilliant footy player, Brooke Anderson. Now Wheeler trying to put Anderson through. Oh, 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 Boss Kapua nailed it. Again, Preston, clever trap there by Church. Killed it with the left foot. Until the kid starts crying and you've got to change their nappy and then they won't go to bed at night. Back sorry. to you, Nakia. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's the best thing about not being your kid. This is a run. Oh, Donovan. Almost away from Taylor as well. Short side. Mahalia Murphy knows how to find oh. the try line, but not this time. Georgia Ravix protecting it brilliantly. Sharks 23 play the ball. Oh, oh. oh spins <laughs> out of it. They've got leftovers from form, being former teammates, those two, Anderson and Kennedy Cherrington. And help yourself to a double. Ellie Johnston. 44 now for Cronulla. Imagine you on the block. Celebrity <laughs> block with Alana Ferguson. Crossfield kick. Oh! oh bravery <laughs> from Staples. And Hunt Nailed the it. other way. Leading that category today. They're going her way. Here she is trying to break one more. And there is history for Cronulla. The first team in NRLW history to bring up 50. Oh, but a lovely line from Anessa Biddle. Quincy Dodd holds it up for a half. Taylor Preston does a great job to create that one-on-one. -on -one and 11 tackle breaks make that 12 to get her second try for the day. Church, creative. And Taylor left it behind for the ultimate consolation try for Monique Donovan, her third in six games in the NRLW. About 45 minutes or so of actual time to come good, but she's moving pretty well. So too, Natoka Toka skipping out of a tackle. Don, oh, Johnston. Oh, look at the pass to the winger. Ellie Johnston is a freak of a front rower. And Ravik scores again. But what about that? Ellie Johnston, all the skills for Cronulla's number eight. Well, not only she scores a double, Speedy, she comes up with the pass of the afternoon. Taylor Preston has 20 points 
of the 56 scored by Cronulla today. The most points scored in an NRLW game. The biggest winning margin. The final game of the doubleheader sees the host Canberra Raiders taking on the Gold Coast Titans. Bradley Nati. Oh, what a ball! And the Titans off to a dream start. Shannon Martel, unstoppable. Bradley Nati goes to work again. Oh, so easy for Avadia Politi. Bradley Nati with two early try assists here. And Chapman is out the other side. Ankle tap didn't work either. Jamie Chapman. Oh, they're flying the Titans. What a blistering start. Hills double against the Dragons and hungry for more here in Canberra. Kickoff pretty handy and oh. Canberra need a moment like that. Absolutely. Pass behind Taufa. Now Temera. Oh, nice. Oh, Elise Smith. Oh, oh yes. Oh, no. the ball that close. Politi underneath it holds it up somehow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, Loz Brown, fantastic for the corner. A rare try for Lauren Brown, <laughs> who's been the field goal hero this season. Now a four-pointer. And we see Wiki bites right in. And that's what actually creates that space. When you create that triangle in the defensive line, that's where the people who've got fast feet can really take advantage of it. And Loz Brown did that to a T. She sure did. She's been hitting short to Chapman all day and she noticed that they were just waiting for her to get the ball and she saw that space open up. We've got the Breeze at their backs as well here, the Titans. But again, the kickoff works for Zahara Temera to get the ball back. Rayleigh Nati service has been outstanding from dummy half. Nice move this from the Titans and Beds. Shaley is over and crashes down. What a performance this is from the Titans. And a second try this season for Shaley Ben. <laughs> Again, former teammates. Yes, former teammates. Oh, go. Here goes Taufa. Samima says, where's the support? She's <laughs> one out. Tripped up by Minor in a party in the fullback role now. She didn't know what to do. She was looking for help. Now Matua. Mona Lisa Soliola for Manny Bartlett. Oh, Has she gotten it down? Yeah, there's a blade of grass there. She always finds Give the it. try line. Number 18 of her career, and there is the consolation. Martor and Taufa there for first contact, but the offload for Loffy Poor. Still the teenager. Oh, yes. What a try from the Titans. They wanted to have the final say in Canberra, and they do right here. And they are into the finals in 2023. Wooden Spooners one season, finalists the next. And they're ready to take on the Roosters after an emphatic win here over Canberra, whose season is now over full time. It's the Gold Coast Titans 30, the Raiders 6. Another great round of NRLW. Join us again next week when we show you all the tries, all the big hits and all the action on NRLW Roundup.